Welcome to day five of your 60 days to CCNA program. So today's tasks. Obviously, as always, review yesterday's notes, go over it all. If you already understand something, it's important that you don't keep reviewing what you already know. I've noticed a lot of people, if they're reviewing a chapter, for example, whatever, chapter two of their book, if they've already understood 50% of that chapter, then please don't read it. Just focus on the things that you don't understand or you, or you think haven't quite sunk in yet. Otherwise, you're going to waste a lot of valuable study time. So today we're looking at IP addressing and in particular VLSM, variable length subnet masking. Subnetting and network design, not in how you design the network, but how you actually use VLSM to slice down your network to make maximum efficiency of whatever addresses you have. So this is a really important part of the CCNA syllabus and I can guarantee you will be uh, grilled in some, some depth on, on these particular questions. Not only that, but you need to be able to answer them quickly because remember, during the exam, you are being timed and you're gonna to need to spend probably more time on the hands-on challenge labs. Labs, it's really, hand, uh, it's really paper labs, so you need to be working on your subnetting and from every day now on, we're gonna work on our subnetting, work on some VLSM challenges and some network design questions. So I'm just going to jump over to the study guide now. Day five again, these are the things I've mentioned. I've got an easy subnetting system which I teach and then how it actually maps to the CCNA syllabus. So I'll just cover basic network addressing, binary mathematics and hexadecimal as well. Unfortunately, you have to know how to do all of that. The old fashioned way of uh, splitting addresses into classes, which isn't really uh, strictly used anymore, but you need to kind of understand it to put IP addressing into context. Understanding the private range of addresses, see so the addresses you're allowed to use on your own home networks or corporate networks, as long as you don't go out to the internet. Why we use subnetting. I've also got a subnetting cheat chart, which will really help you in the exam. You're allowed to use a, a board and you get a pen also, and you can use the chart to answer any subnetting question in the exam. So go through lots of examples. Summarizing routes is really important. You need to understand how to do that. Variable length subnet masking, how to slice down your network. Uh, troubleshooting IP addresses, and then make sure you go over lots of questions and answers, and also convert binary to hexadecimal and vice versa. I've done a hands-on lab just to apply IP addresses onto routers, which is pretty straightforward. So that's all for today. You've got your hands full for the next couple of hours, and I'll see you tomorrow.